Oh, I guess I'm live already. Hi, everyone. If you're just tuning in, I'll wait a few minutes before we start. We're gonna play some games here. We're gonna have some fun. If I can figure out how to go live. How how are you guys? Where are you where are you uh, where are you from? What's going on? I'm trying to get um, trying to get Instagram. Oh, there's Dr. Nan. Nancy and I are doing a little wine time with you guys. And we're looking for people on, there we go, YouTube. Hello. Nancy in here. Cheers. Hi. Hi, how are you? Whining and dining. Well, well, mostly whining. Oh, whining. Yours is a bigger whining. Yeah, I have no snacks. I just have water and wine. That's all you need. I got water too. I'm all equipped. I got YouTube going on this channel here. I got you guys here on Instagram. I just and did a little blurb on Facebook to hopefully invite people over. So I did a little quick promo and put our links in for your YouTube and our Instagrams. And so hopefully people will join us. Yes, and we have games to play. We've got topics to talk about. We have a Q&A that we're hoping that we can gather some information from everyone on. Uh, how are you doing here on, uh, on uh, YouTube? Hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yeah, thank you for all the love. We're getting love. It is uh, Thursday. Thirsty well, Thursday. Poodle well, Susan. <laughs> Is that who you are? Is it Poodle Susan in the flesh? We were wondering about you, where you've been, but it's, it, it's what's Antonin? Okay, sorry to drop uh -oh. you, Doctor. <laughs> sorry, I did not mean to drop you. It was kind of like an involuntary drop. The okay. parents had enough wine. I haven't even had a sip. All right, let's see if I can. Hey, Bryson, there we go. Um, all right. There we are. So first of all, let's just find out who's who's on, who's off here. Yeah. Um, you oh, two. We have somebody we from, from Canada. Bryson. Yeah, we have. Crying out. What wow. the hell? <laughs> Not even a sip of wine yet, and I can't get this thing to stay in. So just talk to Dr. <laughs> Nan. I'm um I'm uh, trying to get this thing closed in here. Okay. So, so, you're in charge. Okay. You're in charge of the where... animals. Let us know where you're from, because it's always fascinating to see uh, what the reach is and what other countries yeah. or cities people are from or states. Florida, yes. all right. William, Stephanie, um, Bryson, Poodle Susan, all you guys, where are you all from? I like the way I've adapted some like Texas accent, where are you all from? Los yeah. Angeles in the building. Yes, right. Los Angeles is right here drinking wine. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a Southern Cal gal. So. You Southern Cal too? I'm actually a Chicago gal, if you guys know where I'm actually. Most of my life, St. Petersburg, Florida, cool, in Sarasota. And Calgary. Oh, I'm Florida, Calgary, cool. Yeah, so most of my life was spent in Chicago. A little, little known fact, I was born in Petersburg, Virginia. Lived there for nine months okay. of my life, developed a need for warmth, and then and was miserable for the 40 years that I lived after that in Chicago. <laughs> oh boy, we got a lot of people here on YouTube. 
uh, Michigan over there, Travis. And we got Williams from Phoenix. We got Brendan upstate New York. Yeah, we got Bryson from Dallas. If I missed anybody, let me know. Orange County, Cal, Stephanie is from, is it Stephanie? Stephanie, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing everybody's name wrong, but what else is new? Anyway, yeah. um, we got questions. We got questions. Yeah, Hold on. Hey, baby, there. love, you are so much sexier, baby. Okay, it's not exactly a question, but I'll take it. We're partying today. Why not? Hard here. We're smoking. No, I'm not smoking. I'm a little nervous about my lungs. I've been watching Game of Thrones. Cersei and Jamie in sex in insensual. You mean insensual relationship got me thinking. <laughs> if you're of legal age and it's consensual by incest illegal. Oh, that's a good question. I'm gonna throw that on to Nancy. It, it's not illegal. Not illegal. Okay. No. It's more of a um, if, it's, if you're both if you're both of age and it's consensual. Yeah, you want to fuck your sister? Go fuck it's your sister. It's just not recommended. It's just not recommended that you have children. Don't have children because they they can be a little wacky in the heady. Yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, <laughs> yeah. it's just it's just too tight of a gene pool. You know, it's not like racehorses. <laughs> right. Don't do it. So uh, hello from it. Germany. It's two o'clock in the morning. Well. Uh, Beer Zane. I don't know, is that German? I know Ich liebe dich, which is I love you. That's about it. That's all it I know. Like a, a, it sounds like you said a Libra dick. <laughs> I, nothing better than a Libra dick. <laughs> a Libra where, dick. Is, where is your mind at, Nance? A Libra dick. Oh. I'm actually, I got a Libra badge. I don't know about you. I got a Libra badge. I just tried something called the intensity. It's I have a Libra intense. yoni. You got a Libra Yoni. You got a whole, you got a whole vulva of, of a it's Libra. The whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> the kit and the caboodle. Everything down there is Libra. We're both Libras. In case you guys didn't know, this is the Libra hour. We have a birthday coming up. Oh boy! If anybody wants to give us an early birthday present, you can easily go to my Venmo and Venmo me, which is Karen Hoter. Or support That's us it. on Patreon. Or you know, go to Patreon. We're best. both on Patreon. Yeah, we're, we'd love to have you on our Patreon pages. Patreon.com slash Karen Lee Potter and Patreon. Uh, actually, it's slash Karen Lee. And Patreon.com slash Dr. Nan. Very easy to remember. Dr. Nan Dr. And, Nancy. Dr. Nancy. What? You changed it on me. Yeah, Nancy. I just <laughs> felt... No! Because it says Dr. Nancy Sutton Pierce on there. So I thought, all right, we're just going to put... All right, did you hear me? Those of you who would like to support... Dr. Nancy, it's go to patreon.com and go to slash patreon.com slash Dr. Nancy. That's her patron. And yeah. do you have many patrons right now or could you use a few more? You can use a few more, right? I've got a few, but I could Good. use a few more. I got a few. And if you're part of my patron family, thank you for joining me here and on Sex Talk with My Mom, you little sneaky freak if you are. Oh, yeah, the doctors show us more. Okay. I don't know. It's too much. They want to learn more about you. Yes, show us more of what you know. That's what they're saying, right? That's right. I should make this loud. Well, you'll have, to, you'll have to join my Patreon because that because that's where I that's where I do post my most inspirational photos. Oh, you're gonna be curious to see what this John just said. What heading John said. Hedonism, heading to hedonism in two days, waiting for travel and authorization. Oh. Did COVID test and was negative. You just got. Her, she, uh, her yoni is twitching away right now. I'm so yoni jonesing for some hedo time. Oh, my God. Did you hear that? She's jonesing. All right. Eat Libra dick, but you can love my oh, dick. So, so John, um, is this your first time, or are you a hedo-esque person? Are you already a hedonite? <laughs> I just made that up. Hedonite. Yeah, are you a hedonite? And while you're doing that, Jen is from London in the U.K., it's 108 there. Wow. Would you rather get a swirly or a wedgie? Dan, what the hell is a swirly? I want to know what a swirly is, too. What's a swirly? If anybody knows what a swirly is, let us know. If, if anyone has any questions for us, we've been we're actually looking for more women. If Poodle Susan's on here, let's hear it from you. We want to hear what women, yeah. women are wondering about. 
You know, what are women? What are, I want to know what women feel is missing from their lives, if anything, or or what they wish they had more time for. Yeah, or if you're a male, you can tell us what you wish you had more time for too, um, or what you any question that you want to ask us. As the night goes on, we get drunker and drunker, so you might get a little bit. Uh, we might open up a little more than we typically would, but you never know. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, well, I think you and I think you and I have a lot in common, Karen. Well, I know we do, but I think we're both very curious about human beings and what people think and want and desire and fantasize about and struggle with and all of that. So we're always interested to know from our viewers and our supporters, how we can, how we can help, how we can add to your life quality in some way, shape. Yeah. Way. If you need any help in any department of your life, it doesn't even have to be sexually or relationship related. It could be anything. Ask away. Swirly is when a bully puts your head in the toilet and flushes it. Oh, well, I, don't, I don't want that. I'm going for not that one, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, thanks. No swirlies for me. Um, just curious, Dan, why are, you cur why are you wondering about swirlies or wedgies? Oh, Dan D had the question. Dan, why are you curious about that? It's illegal to marry your sister or cousin, but it's legal to sleep or have a relationship. John th yeah. said that. Yes. Um, I there guess that's true. State, there are some states in the United States that it's legal to get married. There was a father and daughter that just got married um, not too long ago. Father and daughter. They were, right. But the interest, that was kind of an interesting story because he didn't raise her. She found out like he was, you know, he got a woman pregnant and she had a baby and she found out when she was of, of age that this man was her father. And, and so they, they developed decided a to relationship get oh. and they fell in love and they got married. Oh, so, okay. I, I know. You know so I think it's, it's, it's interesting. I mean, our society tells us that that's taboos. Maybe it's in other right. societies, it's not taboo. My personal right. feeling is I would never want to marry my dad. Um, I, unfortunately, he died, so I can't marry him even if I wanted to. <laughs> but as a little girl, you probably did, because that's really common for little kids yeah. to say, I want to grow up and marry my mommy or my daddy. You know, it's like, because that's your first love. Yeah. And then Sigmund Not Freud finished. comes in. Um, oh, well. Sigmund our, Freud was crazier. Balloons, yeah, so. I know. Sigmund Freud had some issues. Uh, thank you for the compliment, Geek Prime. And Jonathan said he'd rather get a swirly for some reason. Uh, would you rather get your panties rammed up your ass? Um, Who is asking I'm, these things? I don't know why Dan is so curious, but um, no, I would not want panties. I don't want anything on my ass, so, actually, that's not uh, in, an act, in a sexual act that I devised on my own. <laughs> Those, those seem like really violent acts of, um, against a person, not for a person. Yeah, I mean, or not necessarily. I mean, some people might be into things where I'm getting rammed up their ass. It's just not my thing. But, you know, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not yucking anybody, Jim. They want to That's stick true. their panties up their ass. Go for it. But just who am I to say no? Uh, anyway, uh, according to the Bible, we all are sisters and brothers, right? Jan said, according to the Bible, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess so. Yeah, you know, we always say brother so-and-so and sister so-and-so, but, you know, I guess. I, I got a soul sister right here on uh, Instagram. Ditto. You hear that? Ditto. 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 So anyway, um, we want, ah, oh, there's the MILF man, 1986, looking beautiful as always. And Dr. Nan starting to show her face on camera. Her voice is so sexy. Well, we have a problem because I can't figure out, and I will figure it out, but I can't figure out if, how we can get her on YouTube as well as Instagram. Because right now, the only maybe somebody, maybe somebody listening knows how to manipulate YouTube. Yeah, so that if we, we can, can do... get YouTube to add another person on here, I think it's through the OBS and all that kind of stuff, which I don't remember how to do. Um, hi, Chris, and uh, who is my favorite soap opera character? It's been a while since I used to watch All My Children, but I did love, forgot, I forgot who it was. I haven't watched All My, uh, 
soap operas in about 20 years or something, or maybe longer. I used yeah. to like, I used to watch out my children. Uh, big fan here of mature married women. Okay, Gary, uh, only be with married women that have open relationships. Don't be with married women that that the person doesn't know that they're that they're right. Married. Yeah, that's not a yeah. nice thing. Uh, dating is really confusing. This is Bryson to me because I'm either called too nice, too short, big, etc. How do I navigate through this? Bryson, find someone who accepts you for who you are, and don't worry about trying to be something else other than you, because you're awesome. Right. And you right. met Dr. Nan, and last week we had a little private Zoom with you and Brady, and I got to tell you, we had a lot of fun with you, and you are a sweetheart, and any girl that gets you is one lucky, lucky woman. How can I help my wife boost her sex drive? She had thyroid removed and feels that it may be the reason she feels, also feels she won't be as kinky or match my drive. Okay, this is, I'm throwing this on, uh, on Dr. Nan, okay, because we just talked about this actually today. Um, there is a lot of different hormones out there that you could talk to your doctor about, but maybe you want to address this? Yeah. Well, I first I would I would have her seek out a hormone specialist, not an endocrinologist, but uh, an actual functional medicine specialist that specializes in um, sex hormones and hormone replacement therapies. Because they, they know the panels to do. And then, you know, once one hormone goes crazy, then a lot of times it's a cascade effect. So right. it's all thyroid is her, her testosterone might be low, her yeah, her estrogens might be low. So I would get a full workup by somebody who really knows what they're doing, not yeah. just a GP. And endocrinologists don't don't know the functional medicine of th medicine th side of things, especially when it comes to sex drive. All right, so, so I'm assuming this is Florida diver. Um, let's get her to the right person and ch get her checked out physically. And once that's done and her, if her hormones are in the right places and doing the right things, then maybe see right. someone like Dr. Nancy as a sexologist. Yeah. Um, and then what I would do is if, if labs were fine, you know, I mean, I, I, I see people a lot that need labs. And so I'll give them a list of the labs that we need have them go to their doctor, get the labs done, and then we evaluate them. Because I'm also a, a nurse and a health educator, and I've been doing medicine for 30 years, maybe she, longer. She, she so, knows her shit, by the way. <laughs> but, the, but then the other side of it is that I heard him say is that she's afraid she's not going to be kinky enough. So what that tells me is that she's feeling a lot of pressure to be something that maybe she's not. So maybe your role as a support person is to back off a little bit on expectations and start to find out what turns her on, what gets her excited, where her energy is, and meet her where she is now, and then you can build from there. But if a baby person steps, feels pressure, steps. yeah, the worst. if we feel pressure, men or women, then we feel what they call performance anxiety, and yeah. that's no fun. You know, Nobody's going to be having a good time. I agree with that. And, and just FYI for all the men on this channel, if you're with a woman and it's taking her a little while to come, don't, don't pressure her. Okay. Just either, either, right. either take your time with her, but just don't say like, Did you, are you coming? Did you come yet? You know, do all that. That's very annoying. And it makes, it makes it that much harder for her to come. Well, and just like other, you wouldn't other, like it if we if we did it to you. If women would do that to you, we wouldn't say, are you going to come already? And then I'm sure that's a big boner killer too. So, Well, the, the worst thing for a man, because all men have some form of erectile dysfunction at some point in time where the erection just doesn't happen. And so if a woman's like, well, are you going to get hard? Are you going to get hard? When are you going to get hard? Why aren't you hard? It's you're, a boner you're never going to get hard. Right. right. It's a boner killer. Are you guys ever, well, I, I, I just want to make sure that people on YouTube are able to hear this. Did you hear this? We're just, you're still on the wedgies over here. Um, we're just trying to say that if you're having sex, be very patient with your partner and don't put pressure on the partner. That's right. all. Just be loving and, when it, and when communicate. When you're having sex with somebody and say, come for me. That's different. No? Not going to, well, and, but for some people that might, if that might be a turn kind of on, your, yeah. But for other people, they're gonna. That's gonna be like, oh, what? Yeah. And, you know, I was just kind of feeling. Now I've got to get in my head and think about: Am I coming for you or am I coming for me? Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Okay. I, I, I got ED. It's a pain in my ass, really. So, Jan, um, you know, it, realize that it could be temporary, but if it's not temporary, there's so many places you can get help, especially right now on Zoom. You can find people that can help you, talk you through it, to figure out what, you, what your needs are. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I suggest you do that. Milfman, what is the something a guy has done for you that turned you on a lot that did not involve money? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm honestly, I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but that's not what turns me on. I've been a, a friend of mine who was dating some guy who was a multimillionaire, and she was totally grossed out by this guy and came up with every illness in the book as to why she didn't have to have sex with this guy. And truthfully, I was happy as can be just being with a guy that just was just a lot of fun to be with and great sex. So what really turns me on is it mentally, if I get turned on by the person I'm with, like not only physically, but the mental thing, if the guy is intelligent and he's got a good sense of humor and he's super nice and curious, if the guy's curious about like what makes me you know, not even sexually turned on, but just like what makes me turned on as a human. If someone's listening to me, that that really helps a lot. Definitely. What would what would you say your answer to that question? I could read it again to you. It's something a guy has done for you that turned you on a lot that did not involve money. I mean, the list is long, but I think the main thing for me is somebody that'll go that'll go emotionally deep with me. That'll get into real conversation, sit face to face looking at each other's eyes and talk about real things in a real way that has no pretense and no expectation where you both just can share and feel heard and acknowledged and, and, and then a great kisser. If somebody's a great kisser. Yeah. That's a very good oh, indicator to me. Oh dear God. Yeah. I'm toast. She's toast with the great kissing. I'm, I also toast with kiss, kissing, but I also like, um, uh, I just like someone who just, I can tell that they're really into me. That's really important. Like, the, like the, that they're very turned on by me. That turns me on. Yeah. So, yeah. It goes back. I think it, it's like, it goes back and forth, right? It's like, yeah, like a little dance. You, you ramp little. each other's turn on up every time you let the other person know how turned on you are by them. And also, yeah. like sometimes, depending on who I'm with, um, if they like, like throw me up against the wall consensually, not like trying to break my head in. Um, but sometimes stuff like that, you know, especially if it's like a new relationship, um, can be a big turn on if the guy takes the lead a little bit. What are you laughing about? No, I'm going, yes, yes, yes. I'm going, yeah. <laughs> so, hi, know. Bryson. I had an experience once where this guy, he, you know, I love men with strength and he just kind of picked me up and held me against the wall. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I think I, think I had an insta orgasm just with that experience. I mean, it was such a turn on. It was like, oh my God. Milkman, so does that answer your question? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't, you know, I honestly, I've never, I've never been with anybody that, that money was an issue. I've had people with a lot of money right, want to like like have that time with me and I have zero interest. I'm zero, I, 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 mean, I literally I had a guy offer them that way, you know. I had a guy offer me a million dollars, I swear to you. Maybe I made a big mistake, but <laughs> I said no. <laughs> I said no, I would marry him. What did you want for a million dollars? A night of sex in Vegas. Maybe he was a bullshitter, who knows. Um, you well, answered my question. That, that's the other thing. It's, you could get there and he could have a, you know, you put a gun to your head and whatever. <laughs> you never know, right. The, the, remember Indecent Proposal, that movie with Robert, Robert Wedford, I think? Yeah. The older man that, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, so Jen is the guy who's having his issues saying, I lost part of my prostate and Viagra doesn't, doesn't work. So, I mean, yeah, you need to see a qualified doctor, especially if you had surgery. Go see, go see a doctor, right. especially one that has, you know, specialized. Use Yelp. 
Y-E-L-P, use Yelp and look to see what the reviews are. See if you can find someone in your area that can, uh, that has got good reviews in terms of using hormone replacement or um, a sexologist that has good reviews, someone who can help you out. Um, other Usually than after people GP. have had prostatectomies, um, they they have, they, it's affected the nerves and the, the erection may not happen. So there are prosthetics that they can implant that and are pumps. that are wonderful. I actually observed a surgery. Mark and I, when we ran the diabetes center, because 50% of men with diabetes end up with some kind of erectile dysfunction. And so we decided, we, our friend was a urologist, and so we went in and observed surgery. Because that's what, like, one of my favorite things to do as a nurse is to go in and hang out in surgery and just watch surgeries all day. That's a big turn on for you? Yeah, I love that. It's like getting it's, it's like the most for me it's like the most privileged thing to get to look inside of a human body while yeah. living. You yeah, know, I, I, mean, I got to sometimes, do that hours. I am I don't college, know, but. I, I don't know if I can handle that. I had to have someone else, you know, cut open my frog for me during biology, so I don't know if I'd be good with this. <laughs> I don't even think I could kill the. I, I mean, I the, the animals were harder for me than the people. I mean, because okay. we did cadavers in college, so yeah. I could do that much easier than the the animals. Anyway, um, you were saying, but but the the but also the other thing that men need to know is, and and they they probably may probably know this, but a lot of women don't know is that men can have pleasure and orgasm without ever getting an erection. The erection's only required for penetration. So there's other ways to penetrate your partner and you can still both have great experience. So, so there, there's lots you know, of things there's, that there's can be lots done. Of, lots of things, yeah. You just need it's to not, go see the right, the right person. And, and Dan, if you want to join uh, Dr. Nancy's Patreon, it's patreon.com slash Dr. Nancy. And she can then direct you to whoever she feels would be a good person in your area or whatever. Maybe you can yeah, do some research. Yeah, I would be happy to do that. I mean, because you know, I, you know that that's I, I love doing that for people is hooking them up with the right person. Perfect. Um, was there ever a time you and Bryce Bryce and what? He likes I really scalp like... massages. Oh yeah, I, I like scalp massages. I do. I like foot massages. Oh my god, I love that. Um, was there ever a time in your life? And uh, your or Dr. Nans ever went out with a guy, and at some point in your head, you decided you were going to give him some, but he did something stupid and ruined it. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I've yep. been with guys that I definitely. was about to have, have sex with, and then um, they say or do something that I. One guy told me that he, he had sex with a woman in Amsterdam, and woke up the next morning and stole her wallet. Uh, that was a big. Uh, red flag, no, we're not having sex now, now that you told me that lovely <laughs> story. Well, I'm Sorry. curious, why would he tell you that? <laughs> what was he helping I don't know, maybe he thought he was being very creative, but I didn't particularly think that was uh, a big turn on to me, as a matter of fact, uh, that did, but there's a lot of times that, um, you know, you, you think, you know, especially if you don't know the person very well, and then they say something that like, kind of like gets you like creeped out, you have every right to change your mind, and yeah. as a woman, I have changed my mind. Have you ever changed your mind mid-course? I mean, back go, going way back, there were times when I changed my mind mid-course, but I didn't act on it. And you wish and you I had. Wished I had. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, I've, I've had times where I I went ahead with it anyway because I thought, oh, we're already too far into this thing. Might as well right. just do it and get it over with. And that's um, and that, that's when yeah. the guy the guy's going to get the sense that you just want to get it over with. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, this is not good. Yeah, but um, no, I mean, I think it, mentally you're going a certain way. I'm always the opposite, actually. I'm always thinking, oh, I'm just going to have make out, and that's going to be it. This is when I'm single. I'm always like, oh, I'm just going to make out. And that's going to be fine. And then the next thing you know, I'm having sex with the person. <laughs> usually well, usually see, that's, that's because that makeout thing, if they're good at making out, I mean, that's like the door opener. <laughs> yeah, that makeout thing is important. If you're going to work on any skill right now, you guys, don't worry about the size. Don't worry about the performance. Don't worry about all that other shit with your dick. Just worry about 
just make it out, learn how to kiss. That's it. Start with oh that God. basic, you know? basic. Very, if you ever watch LA Law, there was a scene where um, the one female, I forgot her name, the one who's on Modern Family now, I forgot her name. Um, anyway, she had this makeout scene with another lawyer, and I'm telling you, I was just like, whoa. She, she literally taught him how to kiss. And there's just, there's just nothing more erotic, I think. Um, I should find it, and I'll put it on my Patreon page, you guys. Please do. Um, yeah, I will love to repeat anytime. Are you single? No, I'm not single. Um, have you ever regretted wearing a thong or G-string or gave, gave you a wedgie? Um, yeah, I've taken those goddamn thongs off in bathrooms at times, usually under the influence of tequila. <laughs> 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 have you, Nance, has there ever been a time where that string is just irritating you? Yes. And, you have, and it has to come off, you know, just get yes. that thing out. Yes. Yeah, and that's the same way with bras. I, you know, I typically don't wear bras and panties anymore anyway. He's commando, so it doesn't really happen. I, I've, I've given up on them, yeah. I just don't like them. No bra, no panty. Yeah, I've been okay. getting a little more so like... Um, We've got to read this. Okay, in the opinion of the humble one, the women of the whole world should unite to put an end to the consideration that women are just a body only. And this is what most women suffer from sexual harass, harassment probably. Okay. All right. Well, I think we have been working on that for a couple hundred years. <laughs> yeah, we've been trying to. <laughs> you know, women's, women's suffrage, suffragettes, uh, women's rights, ERA, um, Me Too movement, I mean, there's so many, there's so many ways in which women have been screaming as loud as we can that we are more than a body. We have a brain, we have a heart, we have a soul, we've got curiosity, we've got, we've got a yoni. We got it. Well, we've got a yoni that brings us pleasure. Yes. You know, that our yoni isn't just a hole for somebody else to masturbate with. Yeah. You might as well use it. Uh, um, a flashlight if you're a flashlight. yeah just get a flashlight yeah leave uh, our yoni alone <laughs> doctor i love dr nanny even more now that she wears no underwear i love it <laughs> you got brownie points from the milf man 1986. Yeah. <laughs> uh i'm How a man and my here <laughs> kevin asked a question here we got lots of questions going on here kevin asks i'm a man in his early 20s Friends with a woman in her early 40s. She's divorced and, and an alcoholic. I stopped talking to her after she became insensitive. She has a good heart. What should I do? Run. Kevin, Run. yeah, uh, you know, the, the, the big red flag popped up with the alcoholic. I mean, she became You're insensitive not, because she's an art, because she, she's involved with the alcohol and has taken over. Yeah. So You're not I, the best that. thing you can do is say, I'll come, come back to me in a year when you're sober. You know? Yeah. Maybe get help. Get help. Get, get help. Go to go um, to AA meetings. And if and if this if this person feels like he needs to help her or he, he feels guilty, go to a couple Al Anon meetings. I was gonna suggest it, that too. Yeah. Really yeah. Really help call. you. Yeah. Yeah. So um Kevin, um, this is beyond the scope that you'll be able to help her and your best bet is to Go to Al Anon. Al Anon, and, and like any of these, yeah. um, there's always support groups for the, the the partners or the friends or the relatives of people who have addictions. I I've right. been to different Al Anon meetings at different times in my life with different people, and um, I find them very helpful. Um, we got a I question think, from I Trey. Go ahead. They help. They help for any any codependency. You know, we all have. I think all people have a little bit of codependency in any relationship because we want to help, you know, parents want to help their kids and right. lovers want to help their lover and friends. want. I mean, we, that's, that's, that's human nature. Right. But it's when it makes, it takes us into that spiral down the drain and we, we yeah. have to, it's a harsh reality to realize that we have no control over what anybody else does. And you got to protect so. yourself because I've been involved with alcoholics and um, they can be, they can drain you 
as well as knock over yeah. your mailbox. Uh, I live next door to one who <laughs> drove over my mailbox uh, a dozen times to the point where her husband had to go buy one of those drills that you make you dig in and make a new mailbox post. Yeah. You should have put it on one of those big old, those big old springs. So it would just bounce back yeah, and forth. Yeah, bounce back car. and forth. Yeah. The wood, the, the wood would break down all the time. I mean, he probably is on like speed dial and the Jeez. wood delivery. So anyway, yeah, I mean, you, being with an alcoholic or, or any kind of addict who's not willing to get help and it, all the stuff that goes with it, it's just, it's just not a way to live a life that you want to live. Uh, it doesn't bring serenity to anyone. Trey asked, have either of you ever squirted? If so, what made it happen? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess I'll go first. I don't squirt often. As a matter of fact, I think I don't squirt because I usually like to go to the bathroom before I even have sex because I don't have a full bladder. So that might be one of the reasons. Um, because I know that when you do squirt, you, you typically have to have some liquids in you. I may be wrong, but that's what I've heard and felt myself. But it's not coming from the bladder. It's so not necessarily. Out. It's not pee, but for whatever reason, I think you need to have like a full bladder. No, you there don't you need to have a full bladder. It's better not to because oh. the fluids come from the skein's gland, oh. which is the it's what's that's called the urethral and there's the urethr urethral sponge which is between the bladder and the vagina and it's kind of around the cl the clitoris the the body of the clitoris the internal clitoris so when the clitoris gets stimulated and engorged with blood like a penis does you know you think about a penis no, it is a little mini penis blood. yeah yeah but it's but most of the clitoris is internal and that surrounds the whole vagina Right. So if if the if the clitoris is being engorged with blood, it's all that's also containing fluid. And so when you stimulate the G spot or the, the upper roof of the vagina, that's actually putting pressure. When you do upward pressure, that puts pressure on that sponge, and then that will bring the the ejaculate out. It actually comes out through the urethra, but it's like you know, when, when a man ejaculates, he's ejaculating out the same hole that he pees out of, but it's not right. pee, it's coming from the prostate. So right. just like us, the bladder's behind the skein's gland and the urethral sponge. Yeah. So the, the squirt, there there might be tiny bits of urine found. Yeah, that's little teeny, that's, yeah. Very, It's very minuscule urea, yeah. but it's I'm wondering why that is that I've been told. Maybe I was I was told by a couple a couple porn stars. <laughs> That's how they well, do it. Well, because in porn, the the a lot of times the squirt is just urination. Yeah, so they're probably they, just so they fill their bladder so it looks good on camera. Because most okay. of the time when women are squirting, it's just it's more spurting. Yeah, I had I I had one time that I'm pretty sure I squirted because I looked down. I'm like, did I do that? I mean, I right. <laughs> but all, all in all, it's not one of my favorite things to do, basically, because it's kind of messy. But I don't know. I, 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 it's just me. Well, I, I had an experience recently that was. You scored it. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> a good and squirt. Just, she had just, a good squirting experience. It just, it just kept going and going. And it was. Oh, like, it was a good orgasm and a squirting experience. I thought experience. I was going to have brain damage. <laughs> Oh my God. Did you hear this, YouTubers? All right. Um, can you ask, uh, let's see, you're a sex addict. No, I'm not a sex addict. Um, why are you not married? Wow. I would There's like no such thing as sex addicts anyway. Yeah. And also, why am I not married? I, I was married and my husband passed away and now I see no reason for, you know, to get a Okay. So I, I ask this person who's asking you that, where are they from? Where are you what from? Country? Are you from the United States? Who asked me? Jan. Uh, Jan. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Uh, let's see. What else we got going on here? A lot of stuff about the wedgies still. I don't know. I don't understand what's going on with this. This wedgie. guy's got a thing on wedgies. I'll bet he's, I'll bet he's, that's his fetish. Oh, he, he is, is Dutch. Wedgie. Jan, is Dutch. Jan is Dutch. Dutch. The Dutch are pretty liberal. So ask, is Jan a male or a female? 
Is, are you a male or a female, Jan? I'm assuming you're male, because you said you had the prostate issue. I think they're oh, okay. Yeah, well, that would, I, I, that would do that. So ask him, what does it matter? Marriage doesn't define women. Yeah, the better question would be, are you single? Right? Well, what does your marital status have to do with anything? Uh, he, I think he's wondering, in case he's wondering if I was willing to date him. <laughs> I don't right, know. But the, but, the question, but the question was presented, why aren't you married like you should be? Right. Like there's something wrong with me because I'm not married. Right. Well, um, I'm totally fine. I'm actually very fine. I have a wonderful man in my life, and uh, we don't feel the need to get married. At least I don't. Marriage is, is just a legal contract, and, and it, totally. it does, does nothing to change the value of a relationship, you know? Yeah. I, mean, I, say, I say that, and then in the next thought, I'm thinking, oh, however, Mark and I, when we got married, we were shocked at how much it changed our relationship in a better way. Because it was more like a, a, a commitment. Yeah, I think we both felt more relaxed. But you and your man have been together for a long time, oh, and you lived together. We we yeah. weren't living together. We weren't building right. A life I think that's together. probably a bigger bigger issue is like right. You know the time spent together and the, and the cohabitating and all that. Right. Um, so I I think I think fewer actually mar the the marriage numbers have gone way down. People aren't needing to get married anymore. Right, and I think there's so many women over the age of fifty that are just so happy to be single. Mm -hmm. um, Companionship doesn't need marriage, is what Bruce said. That's really great. Uh, yeah, I got more matter. information on Jan. He's Dutch. He's sixty-one year old uh, male. He's from the old stamp, and <laughs> he's married for thirty-six years. Yeah, I mean, that, if my husband awesome. hadn't been murdered, we would still be married today, and it would have been a long, a long time. Yeah. Married. Yes, you know. But I think a lot of people in the world, especially people over fifty, believe that. A, that women's status needs to be married to to be to be a valuable woman well actually i say that over 50 it's probably still our culture because my youngest daughter who's in her 30s has felt a ton of pressure to be married and she's not really sure she wants to be she's with Good. a man they have a baby they're building a life but she's like, oh, it's too complicated yeah, to get married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. always ask but even my daughter. If you want a family, so Bruce says, you know, if you if you don't want a family, it's not necessary. But what uh, you know, if you even if you want, we they have a child. Want a family? Married, what, but they're committed. Yeah. They're committed to each other, and they're committed to the child. So, it, they're they're it's... they're as likely or more likely to stay together than if they were married. Sure. And it is just a legal document. And then if you talk to people who've gone through divorces, it's a pain in the ass to get divorced. So, and it's a lot of money involved. And the lawyer usually is the one who makes the money. Oh, Go ahead, show me. But, okay, so someone wanted to see feet. I'm showing feet. If you go on Instagram, you'll see Dr. Nan's feet. What shoes are we both wearing? <laughs> Neither of us are wearing shoes. Goes <laughs> so along with Fair the outfit. We are, we, are like, we are like, you know, simple. I have, I have two items you of know, clothing on, period. Yeah, I, I got, um, well, if you consider this a sports bra, a bra, that's a, but that's about it for me too. <laughs> Going commando as well. Female family members have asked me that same question. Yeah, stick, I, stick to your guns, stick to your guns. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't fall into the societal thing. Hey there, Tom. Um, I mean, yeah, we're asking, we're answering the a Q and A today. And why? Okay, I would be over the moon. What does that mean? Why? Oh, back to the marriage things again. Okay, we're doing the Q and A. We would love it if you guys would find out from women in your life what kind of questions that they have for women like us, because we want to help women discover their passions and and what sparks them and. Well, you know how they how they can shine their lights. Hi, so, baby granny. See, this is it. This is it. There it is. I was waiting for it. So here it is. So carrying uh, Burl 
caring Karen great Gabriel what are, what are you what are you saying hi babies grannies what does that See? mean that means that he has put us in a square box are you trying yeah are you trying to uh to define us so no, that you, trying to, you feel more comfortable he's trying to put us down because we are of granny age which so why is by the way why are you watching my channel if you're so happy right now right um, no way if you don't if you don't like what you see you know get out of here you seen my show with nina yeah. hartley nina is one of my very dear friends she's an awesome awesome woman and um i'm glad you saw the show i don't know what show you saw because i've had her on many times hello my queen so this person says all religions or monotheistic books say that marriage is sacred and not just a contract and only. It is the basis for building a virtuous and straight society. And all religions and their books are fantasies. Thank They're you. They're just make-believe to control people. Yes. They're not real. They're not human. We didn't they're, even discuss you know, this. They're, they're, yeah, it's like, so, you know, that if you want to believe that and you want to get married, awesome. But that is a, that is a fairy tale belief. Right. That you can choose to have or not have. Let's let's face facts. I mean, over the centuries that humans have been on Earth, they've gone in and out. Sometimes, like in old ancient Greeks, they were all having male lovers. I mean, right. there was, there's been times that different religions promoted polygamy, like the Quakers or the, the Mormons. I mean, there's been times that religion, religion has started more wars than any other reason to have a war. Oh, so it, it's, it's been responsible for more destruction than anything else. Yeah, right. Anything else. So if you're if you are a strong religious person, that's fine, but don't put that stuff on anybody else. Just keep it to, keep it to yourself. Use it for your own life, but you don't have the right to impart that on others. And and the other thing I say, it's a, a virtuous and straight society. Is that the most bullshit you've ever heard? A so virtuous and straight a society. Good. Yeah, you know, it's, well, it's how many it's married very, people cheat? Yeah, good example. Why? why do some married people cheat? Why do they cheat? Yeah. Because they are stuck in a society-driven um, narrative that you have to be a certain way, it's, and it's, if you yeah. marriage is marriage in itself does not mean that you're any better or any worse than anybody else because you're married. It doesn't really mean anything. It means that you signed a piece of paper with someone. And that is why people do cheat because they are too scared to break their commitment and talk about it. So they cheat. They think that it's right. going to be something that they can get away with. But what they're doing is really hurting other people that they're, they're involved with. Well, and I find that most of the time couples in a, with, when they sign up for marriage, they they have they check like the default button accidentally, like we're going to be monogamous. But neither of them, they never have a conversation about what is monogamy. What yeah. does that even look like? What 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 does that entail? And so then they move through their life together, and they do things that they don't believe is cheating, or that maybe it's on the line, but the other person would would absolutely believe it's cheating because they've never had the conversation. So Have the conversation. More more. Yeah. I yeah, know. So this is a great question. I've seen throuples and wondered how they get over the jealousy. Why you gotta figure out why are why is anyone jealous of anything? Why? Why what if there's some happiness that is being gotten like I even knew of um a mom who was jealous of a, a babysitter because the kids were loving the babysitter I'm, and I thought to myself well that's wonderful that the kids have the capacity for loving you you as a mother and the babysitter if you have a, if you're in a throuple and you're all enjoying each other why would there be jealousy I mean I haven't I, I haven't been in a throuple but I I see no reason why it wouldn't work unless you felt an insecurity in which case don't be in a throuple and I, 
you know, so much, I was just talking to a friend about this the other day who's raising a, a little girl and he's seeing uh, other people influence his daughter That's what I was saying. by saying, but he like, he was paying attention to a, a little cousin of hers. And so he was giving att affectionate attention to the cousin playing with her or whatever. And the grandmother said to his daughter, you look at your daddy, look at your daddy. He's over there with another girl. That's not okay. That's not okay. That's your daddy. That's, and, and it was like, he was like, oh my God, don't teach her that. Who you know? so, is this a grandma? Yeah. And so this kind of thing, but these kind of things are taught. Mm -hmm. We're also taught as young teens and preteens that jealousy is a sign of love. If they're not okay. jealous, they don't really love you. Right. And so that starts that destructive belief that just it absolutely destroys your you and your relationships. Yeah. Totally. Karen, you are so sexy. Thanks for the foot tees. Can only imagine <laughs> what your sexiness looks like in the stockings. Thank you, Damien. Um, never ever been jealous in my life. Okay, Jan. Um, all right. And then what do older women like about younger men? Go read the book. Where's my book? I gotta get my book. Okay. It's all in the book. Fuck games. Don't date cougars. It's F star C K games. Date cougars. It's my book. It's on Amazon. Uh, if you found me here, you'll be able to find the book on Amazon. Go read it because a lot of the comments that and questions that have been talked about in this and all the previous live streams and everything that I've talked about are right here in this book, all the answers. So yeah. save yourself some time and trouble and read the book. Yeah. Yeah. Please talk about hot wife. What is that hot wife syndrome? Do you, do you understand that? Okay. I, I don't yes. get that. So there, a lot of people misunderstand the term cuckold, C-U-C-K-H-O-L-D, cuckold, or C-U-C-K-O-L-D, cuckold. And that's a, it's an, it's an old term that actually means uh, a man who likes to be um, demeaned and humiliated, usually a white man, and oftentimes with a small penis. And he likes to see his wife being pleasured by a, a largely endowed, generally a black man. And while doing that, the wife humiliates the husband and he masturbates while this is happening. And this is their pleasure. Yeah, that's pleasure. a traditional cuckold experience. Pardon? That's a stereotypical cuckold. They're all that's, variations. That's actually the, 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 the original definition. Right. But they're but variations. But then it's expanded out and, and it's kind of gotten confused because I think a lot of times they confuse just being a voyeur with being a cuckold. Right. Because a voyeur could be a man who really just enjoys watching his watching wife as a pleasure. Yeah. Without him. Let me, let me, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw it back on our audience here. Do you guys, would you enjoy, if you had a really, you know, a really hot person in your life, would you want to watch her having sex with someone else? Would a male or female, would it turn you on? Would it make you upset? What are your thoughts? I'd like to hear what everybody has to say. Um, if anybody has any concerns, let us know. Would you laugh if someone else puts it? So, but the hot wife thing, back to the hot wife, but real quick while you're oh, yeah. getting the answers, is where a, 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 a woman is a, like a cougar, like confident, sexy, vibrant, sexually in, engaged, and she's out there in the flirting world and she's drawing in men to, to play with, and her husband is is enjoying his hot wife being this flirty hot thing. He, nece he doesn't necessarily play with others, but he totally loves seeing his wife happy. And so well, you guys, yeah, that's, so that, I, that's the hot yeah. So what do you guys think about that? Do you guys think that that's forbidden? Look at this. Um, Rabbi said marriage protects the woman and the man falling in love uh, uh, into the taboo. That is marriage is based yeah. on solid rules such as the house. As for the forbidden relationships, they are like the spider's web. 
I don't know. I mean, I think that's an, an that's an antiquated way of thinking, to be honest with you. I, yeah. I think that's a, I got to show you my pussy. You want to show? Oh, let's see your pussy. I'm dying to see your pussy. Oh my God, that's your little pussy. It's a it's a, a tuxedo kitty. How is she? I forgot to ask you. I know. About look, her. isn't she cute? <laughs> my daughter. I sent Just a picture. Four, you got to send me. What made you four, decide to get? Four white paws. Oh my God! Why did you decide to get a little pussy? She followed us home. Oh, she's, she's so like, cute. She's put on a pound, I think, this first couple of weeks. We call her Yin because we're gonna get a little white kitty with black markings and call him Yang. Oh, I love this. How about Yoni and what's the other thing called? Yoni. <laughs> Leon. Leon. Yeah. I'm gonna get a cat. We were, on a walk. Are... we were on a walk a couple of weeks ago and she was out at 11 o'clock at night running you know on the street kind of darting back and forth and meow she had this really weak little meow she was a lot lighter than she looked like a tube were you always and wanting so, to get another were you wanting to get an animal not right now <laughs> i mean with covid and everything it's, yeah. it's a good idea yeah i can see she's a little lover isn't she is she a good girl she's like not bothering she's you really right. sweet she's so sweet Oh, she, she sleeps with us. She's ha she's sweet. She doesn't wake you yeah. up in the middle of the night going. Ah, but she I'm followed okay. us like a half a mile home. Yeah, um, and came right to the front door. I'm like, all right, I can't leave you out here. So well, I, I tried to find her home. It's a long, it's a long story, but, but anyway, we have her. <laughs> I'm glad because she's a good girl. Does she? Yeah. What she said a name? What did you say? Yin. 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 She looks like my daughter's daughter. Can't name Oreo. We're running out of time, you guys. Um, yep. uh, I, I'd love to get some answers to the question if you have any answers to what you so think. So, what about do you think about uh, people in swingers ones. relationships? Awesome. Uh, someone asked me opportunity to be in a throuple. Would I? I don't know because I'm having a hard time finding a woman to live with me. <laughs> well, sometimes a throuple is easier. Honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I think. Um, marriage protects a woman it doesn't protect women anymore that's a that that may be in some countries but not this one um the man is falling into the tab they're, they're both falling into the taboo um yeah so there yeah, yeah. Marriage, i can say i would really i would say one thing. A, <laughs> well what, what are you but, saying marriage was designed as what it was it was really designed as to, so that women could be sold as property. Yeah. The whole contract yeah. of marriage was yeah, because real women woman. and children were property. Right. Right. And, and you have a farm and you want to have to make sure that you have you know, the right, the, your, your offspring is right. going to be working on your farm. Um, right. Because before that, I mean, it, it could be that maybe you would have multiple partners like the bonobos. But the bottom line is, do what's good for you. Marriages and all relationships are very, they're, they're difficult. They're not easy. They're not like, oh, happily ever after and just riding off in the sunset. There's, it's, it, it's a working contract no matter what. So do what's good for you. Don't open the Pandora's box until you've had some good discussions. Right. So this last one, my question, but is that what your view is? Is, is what is, what is your view of life that you have lived up till now. Um, first of all, I don't believe in God. Sorry, I'm an atheist. Second of all, um, I believe people should be uh, free to choose their life path, uh, what's authentic to them. M mining the do do unto others as you would do unto yourself. I know that comes from some biblical term, but it's really common sense: kindness, love, compassion, and freedom. And those can't be done if somebody feels like they have to control somebody else. So I love that. I, I would agree with most of what you said. I do believe in God, um, but my God may be not the same God that everybody else believes in. It's just I believe there's a higher power somewhere out there that we were all part of at some point. Um, but I agree that after that, just let people live their own lives. Just keep your, you know, yeah. you can you can be totally into the, whatever religion you're into, but just let the rest of the world live their own lives. Do you think that- you, And this last question, do I believe live? that, do they, should, should people marry, be able to marry more than one person at a time? Absolutely, why not? Why not? If somebody wants to be married to many people, 
who, what does it matter to anybody else? Really? If, you know, if, if I want to And what does it matter? Know. And what does it matter what sex you're having sex with? Right. You know, if you want to have sex with multiple people, multiple partners, <laughs> the younger generation, I'm talking about the ones that are in there like, you know, early to mid 20s, they're having sex with everybody. They're having sex with rabbits. So we're going to get cut off here. So. Oh, no. I'm getting cut off. off. Everybody, All come right. back next week, and we'll bring your questions every Thursday at 5 p.m. Karen and I have lots that we want to talk to you about. We're, we want your questions, so inbox us questions that we can start off the show with next week. You guys and hear that will, on YouTube? We will engage you. If you want and to follow us, thank you. It's great. Right. On YouTube, if you want to hit that dollar sign up there and and give us a couple dollars for having this lovely talk with you for the last hour. Let us let, show your love by doing yeah. that. Or go to our Patreon page. Support us on Patreon. Patreon That's is really a really good way. And and not yeah. just us, but everybody. Because right now, people are hurting. Patreon. And Mr. Chocolate covered sexiness. We love you right back. <laughs> and we... Are you putting in the link? I'm trying. Dr. Nancy. So you go right. to Patreon and, and you go to either one of those links. It's just Patreon is just a membership platform where you can support creators. Yeah. And uh, it's cool. What are your fears for the future? Yeah, it's cool. We're going to have to talk about that next week. <laughs> yeah. Come back Hold next that thought there. We'll, tell you, we'll, we'll share our fears. <laughs> All right. Well, Bye we're going to pop our feet up, Brian. <laughs> All right. We're going to pop. All right. Thank you, love everybody, you. for Bye, guys. In. And if anybody's and, uh, a YouTube wizard out there, tell us how to get this going on with, on YouTube right. as well. We want to find okay. a real good platform that people can find us and you can see Nancy and, and, and me at the same time. So let us know if you can figure yeah. out how to do that. And um, that's it. Bye. Okay. Love you.